tend to be to start, you know, being positive. Um, the labor markets, you know, are strong. The level of un unemployment is very low. Uh, we have uh, economic growth, uh, relative economic growth. Um, and uh, housing is very strong. Uh, so there are some good news. Uh, on the other hand, um, th there are some concerns to be have. Uh, first of all, uh, the, the very high level of state of uh, uncertainty, uh, you know, first of all, around the world, uh, which may or may not have an impact on Canada. Uh, obviously, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is the trade wars between Canada, between the U.S. and China. But it's, it's more than this. Uh, as we saw last week, uh, uh, you know, the exchange between uh, Mr. Macron and Mr. P President Trump, uh, you know, it could extend, you know, that trade war to some countries in the European Union. The relationship between Japan and Korea is not as good as it used to be, and so on and so forth. And, um, you know, within our borders, uh, one has to worry a bit about the level of, uh, of uh, household debt. Uh, it's pretty high. Um, you know, you may have seen a couple of days ago, uh, year to date, the level of uh, bankruptcies is, is quite high. And, and therefore, uh, one has to be uh, fairly cautious going forward. Uh, 12th year, you know, of strong economic growth uh, and equity markets and so on. And therefore, what is going to happen next? So uh, I, am, I am confident, but uh, I think that we have to be at the same time uh, cautious about the, about the futures. And, and, and a last point. You know, we have lost uh, our tax advantage vis-a-vis -vis the U.S., for instance, and we're all aware that the U.S. is our major export market. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we use uh, to have a significant tax advantage in, corporate, in, in term of corporate tax. Uh, you know, there was a tax adjustment in 2000, 2007, but nothing has been done since. So I, uh, you know, this is something that uh, this is something that worries me. Uh, I'm very much aware that the Minister of Finance did announce a tax cut for the so-called middle class, but what is this doing, you know, for business? So I, I've got a concern on that. You referenced the finance minister's decision. Um, uh, what, what would you like to see done differently as opposed to focusing on a tax cut for the middle class? Well, uh, there, I, you know, I don't, I don't have any, I don't see anything wrong in focusing on the middle class. But what I'm saying is that, uh, you know, the government has to consider business also. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was disappointed by uh, the speech from the throne. There is very little about business. Uh, there is nothing or very little, you know, I, as a matter of fact, nothing, you know, about uh, addressing the feeling of uh, Western alienation. Um, you know, I was very disappointed with the results of the election uh, uh, recently for two reasons. First of all, um, the level of participation. Uh, I find it shocking uh, that in this country, you know, one Canadian out of three does not participate, you know, in the election in the electoral process. And two, um, I'm, I'm quite concerned by the fact that two significant provinces, you know, have no representation. And therefore, um, I was expecting uh, in the speech from the throne more about that subject and more about uh, you know, business concerns, uh, tax reduction, and so on, uh, productivity. Uh, this country is lagging behind. Uh, I'll give you uh, two numbers. Um, you know, in 2007, uh, the uh, GDP per, per uh, capita uh, in Canada was about 83% of the GDP of the U.S. We have slipped to 77 
while other countries like Australia have increased their positioning. Um, and, and therefore, uh, I think that uh, the central government has to show more uh, focus on the business community. Monsieur Tellier, uh, are you confident as a, as a business leader in, in the political leadership of the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau? Well, I don't want to personalize this uh, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, you're, you're aware that uh, I, I did work for several years, you know, for his father. Um, but uh, my preoccupation is um, I would like to see more uh, sensitivity to the business uh, community. Uh, I'll give you two examples. Bill 69, uh, you know, which is the bill, uh, uh, the legislation for the regulatory process of uh, big uh, projects which may have an environmental impact. Well, uh, I know that uh, having been a deputy minister in Ottawa for close to 15 years, I know that it's never possible to satisfy everybody. But uh, I, I think that there are ways to make sure that uh, uh, the people on the other side of the table are listened to and so on. Uh, I've seen very few people on the business side either on the oral patch or elsewhere, uh, expressing, you know, uh, satisfaction with that piece of legislation. Uh, the same, you know, with Bill 48 and so on, uh, on, on transportation, uh, you know, maritime transportation and so on. So I, I, I don't want to put it in, in personal terms in any way, shape or form, but I think the business community should perceive that there are some people in the government, you know, uh, sensitive, uh, you know, to their point of view. And uh, before you ask me, uh, I, I see this in the Quebec government. Quebec government has been in, our, in power for over a year. I, I detect, I sense, in terms of the key players in the Quebec government, an interest to address business issues, to reduce regulations, and so on. Uh, this is led by the Premier himself, uh, you know, who, who has a business background. Uh, the same, you know, with his Minister of Economic Development, Mr. Fitzgibbon, uh, again, uh, you know, a, a serious businessman. The same with Dubé at the Treasury, Mr. Dubé. The same with the Minister of Finance and so on. These people know how to read a balance sheet and you can tell, for instance, climate change. Of course, climate change has to be taken seriously, very seriously. But at the same time, you have to take into account, you know, the, the economic development of a place like Quebec and I see in Mr. Legault's uh, government over the last year, you know, an interest in these things, uh, trying to reconcile, you know, the environment with economic development and so on. I'm involved with a, a project, an energy export project. You know, it's a significant project, $14 billion for export purposes. And, you know, the government is listening to all arguments on both sides of the equation, the environmentalists and the business community and so on and so forth. And we feel that it's a fair process. And maybe the same level of understanding of the business community, of the business world exists in Ottawa, but I don't feel that it is there to the same extent at least. So you gave